can you tell me about more like what do the volunteers do and in your or that's the role of the what, volunteers? Do you mean like just our regular? Because all the staff is pretty much volunteers too, right? The show was founded by three women. It was Leah Bukhara, Jan Anisef, and Becky Johnson, who all kind of got together and came up with this idea to have a show because there really wasn't anything like that in Toronto at the time. And really without their efforts and their vision 10 years ago, none of this would be happening. The creation of City of Craft came from a bunch of places. It was sort of a, a specific moment, I'd say, in the development of this sort of indie craft in the city. It was 2007 and there was something called the Craft Congress that was happening in Pittsburgh that uh, Leah, Jen and myself were all invited to. I can't remember why. Oh, I was running these sort of smaller craft fairs in Parkdale. Jen was running something called the Toronto Craft Alert, which was a blog sort of connecting craft activity in the city. And Leah was running the Church of Craft, which provided cheap to free skill sharing and stuff like that. It also coincided with the end of a show called The Dude Show, downtown urban design event, that kind of left a bit of a void in the city. I mean, we weren't a major show when we started, but there wasn't a major show for indie craft and we really wanted that presence to stay in Toronto as the city became bigger and more gentrified. A little bit lower. Yep. Perfect. Um, there are a lot of components to this show. It starts with a small crew of organizers. We have a volunteer coordinator. We have someone to take care of sponsorship, someone to coordinate all the workshops. So this team sort of works all year long to put this show on. And decor is always a big part of the show too because we're in this beautiful heritage building. It's really fun to kind of explore different ways to decorate and bring the space alive. So there's lots of work hanging from the ceiling, always handmade, usually paper-based, bright and colorful just to make the environment much more inviting for our vendors and for our guests. I emailed Becky about 10 days before the 2010 show and asked if I could help. And she said, Sure, do you want to be the volunteer coordinator? A lot of the people who organize also sell in the show, so they're busy at their tables during City of Craft. So it's really important to have volunteers who can run the admission table, direct people, answer questions. It's really great to have people willing to give their time to do that because they support craft and they get excited about it as well. We've had volunteers who have become vendors, we've had volunteers who've become staff, and it's really been a great starting point for people to get involved in, in the city of craft world. Uh, the first time I heard about City of Craft, it was like a magical place and I didn't really know about creating crafts and selling it at first. So it was like blowing my mind and I was having such a, a moment where I realized I could do this too. I think the process that they pick people for the show is really great. There's always a lot of new vendors here every year. There's a lot of people that I've never seen their work outside of the City of Craft. I think in the beginning it became a, a bit of a trend, you know, handmade, craftiness, supporting local. But then I think when you start shopping at smaller shows, you notice the difference. And I think shoppers appreciate that kind of warm, welcoming vibe that we have here. It's when people are coming to the show, they're thrilled to be here. The vendors are thrilled to be here. And it's just a great time. I guess the main goal of the workshop is to show people that making things isn't scary. 
it's actually really attainable. Someone that maybe signed up for the bookbinding workshop might next year decide, oh hey, like that was really cool, I'm really into it. I want to make my own books and then I want to turn those books into something else and then maybe, you know, next next year they're applying for City of Craft. So it's kind of like a, almost like a gateway drug. Yes, it's done well. It's been around for 10 years. People show up and buy things for three days out of the year. Compare that to how many people go to Eaton Center every day. And I don't want to say we're not making an impact, because I think we are, but there's so much more work to do. My dream, personally, it always has been that this kind of if we're going to be, if as people, as a society, we're going to be consuming, I'd rather all the consumption be closer to what City of Craft is. And for that to happen, you need thousands of people doing what I was doing or what Calvin is doing. Kalpana is one of the most amazing people I have ever met and what she creates and what she does for City of Craft and for other creative uh, ventures in the city is awe-inspiring.